Pompeii to me is like you're in this world, but you're in a glass case watching the world go by and you can't touch it. I would never wish it on anybody. Hello, my name is Cody, and I am living with Pompe disease. I was originally diagnosed with Pompe back around 1992-93, whenever I had physical education. No matter how much energy or power I exerted, I was never able to keep up with my peers. Any sort of physical test that we had to pass in gym class always failed it horribly compared to everybody else. Then I have started having issues standing up off the ground. Then stairs became an issue. First it was issues going upstairs, then eventually became issues going downstairs. And when none of this was adding up, like okay it's, it's time to see a doctor because something beyond the ordinary is happening now and don't know what it is the disease mimicked something else very closely so i had to get a muscle biopsy to tell and after they took a look at the muscle tissue under a microscope that's when they were able to make a conclusive determination that it was pop disease Christmas of 2019, I started realizing that mobility was getting more and more difficult for me. By the time we hit about February, March of 2020, it was really hard. It felt like I had weights on each one of my limbs. One day, I got up and I tried to go use the bathroom. And I had to call my mom in here. And with my mom being in her late seventies, it would call for me to put almost all my weight on her. And when I noticed that my left leg was still collapsing, I'm like, that's it. Because I can't put that much pressure on her. My leg can't take the pressure anymore. So I guess that's it for me and walking for now. My mother plays and has always played a huge part in my life. My lack of mobility, it actually gave me the opportunity to enjoy her company more, uh, interact with her more, talk more, foster an even tighter relationship. My hope concerning the disease for myself I don't really think about myself that much anymore. I spend most of my time thinking about what can be done for others. My hope is that if a cure or a treatment has not been found or it can improve my quality of life by the time I am um, deceased, then I would really like for my body to be used for research in the hopes that nobody else would have to go through this. So, it could be a disease spoken of in past tense. I just want it to be a footnote in history so that nobody else has to experience this ever again.